each base 10 block is at least one centimeter long. The eraser is five centimeters long. I worked this out by counting the blocks from the start of the eraser to the end of the eraser. I did the same thing with the pen and arrow. In question two, I got this question wrong. The time is 6.30 and then I added one hour and I thought the answer was seven o'clock, but the answer is 7.30. Six o'clock plus one hour. 6 o'clock plus 1 hour is 7 o'clock and there is 30 minutes or half an hour left. So the answer is 7.30. In question 3, I had to round each coloured number to the nearest 10. The numbers to round down are 1, two, three and four and the numbers to round up are five, six, seven, eight and nine. The coloured number is five so I should round up to ten. In question four, I found the time on the first clock, which is nine o'clock, and I wrote down the time so I wouldn't forget. Then I found the time on the second clock, which is one o'clock. Then I counted how many hours from nine o'clock to one o'clock. The answer is four hours, so I wrote four hours as the answer. Twenty-two things plus seventeen things equals thirty-nine things. I know this because I started adding from the ones column then the tens column. I worked out seven plus two equals nine in the ones column in my head. I wrote nine down so I wouldn't forget. In the tens column, I just know that two plus one is always three. So the answer is 39. In question six, I had to draw a picture, equation or number line to find the answer. 10 times seven <coughs> is 70. I didn't want to draw seven shelves with 10 books in each shelf because I thought that would be too much to draw. Instead, I wrote an equation. I just know that 10 times a number is always that number but with a zero added to the end. The answer is 70. For fun spot six, question one is just like a crossword but a maths crossword. I had to fill in the blank spaces of many equations. When I filled them in, sometimes my answers would complete other equations for me. For example, when I completed 8 plus 22 equals 30, well, I did it in my head and then the answer completed 
a, an equation for me. 30 minus 9 equals 21. And when I worked out 30 minus 10 equals 20, 30 is actually 3 tens. So 3 tens minus 1 ten equals 2 tens. For Fun Spot 6, question 2, I had to complete the addition and subtraction grids. For the subtraction grid, 15 minus 10 equals 5. I know that because when I worked the answer out, I counted on my fingers 10 to 15, which is 5, so the answer is 5. There is also another strategy I could use, which is, this is 10 and this is 15. 15 is actually made up of 1 10 and 5 1s. So, if I pretend the 5 is not there at the moment, then it will just be 10 and 10. 10 minus 10 equals 0, so there is no more 10s left. So, there is only 5 1s left, so the answer is 5 1. All right, sandpiper challenge. Whoever finds the most sandpipers is could be the winner. You get an extra point for being first. Okay, the horse is downstairs, and then you can go upstairs and finish in mummy and daddy's room. On your mark, and you have to count all the sandpipers. On your mark, get set, go. One. Have to pick two. Count. Three, We did not count all the sandpipers because we were rushing. Some sandpipers were on the were some sandpipers were on pictures on walls. We did not observe good enough to see all the sandpipers. I built the house of Jenga blocks because I was bored and I wanted to play Jenga with mummy and then I decided to build something with Jenga blocks. I built a house with a floor, the sides of the, ha of the house, but not with a roof because the blocks would topple over and also because I didn't have enough blocks to make the roof. Inside the house, I built a bed, a table, a bench, and a very large TV. 
Daddy told me that I was actually also doing maths because I was doing lots of geometry and parallel sides and height, like the height of the big TV. And when I took photos of the house and when I shaped the house, angles. How interesting. Today, I read some little golden books. I really like reading little golden books and it surprised me to find a pile of little golden books in this house. I read all these little golden books, which includes Peter and the Indians, Timothy Tiger's Terrible Toothache, The Lively Little Rabbit, I really like that one, Five Little Firemen, Donald Duck's Toy Train, Uncle Remus, and Kitty's New Doll. I really like this part of the book and it helps me identify if it is a little golden book. But my favourite little golden book of all is Bambi. Bambi is about when a little deer comes and a fox chases a rabbit named Thumper and Bambi saves Thumper. But I am very proud of you. The bluebird has told me how you helped your friend. That same bluebird also told everyone else what had happened and by the time the animals arrived at the hill they saw a very happy Bambi safe and sound standing proudly beside his father. Thumper who was the happiest of them all hopped over to Bambi and looked gratefully up at his friend. Thank you for saving my life Bambi he said you're not only my best friend but you're my bravest friend too. Mummy and I had lots of fun completing the jigsaw. The jigsaw has 100 pieces and I recognised the design on the pieces and the colour on the back. I realised that it was a Ravensburger puzzle and I had a Ravensburger puzzle once too. It was very, it was also very hard to complete the puzzle because there were lots of pieces and most of them were the same colour so it was hard to put them together. We also finished the puzzle in one day and I really really like that puzzle. So that is my school for today. In maths I am glad that I got all the questions right except for one in question two. I am also glad that I got only one question wrong, which is okay. And doing the fun spot six was actually very interesting and I am proud and glad that I learned the new strategy of 10 minus 10 equals zero and then it's and there's no tens left, so the answer is five. I think I can use that strategy in the future. And doing the sandpiper hunt was so much fun. And so was reading the little golden books. It was very relaxing to read them. And even though the Ravensburger puzzle was hard, the pieces were shiny, 
and it get and they gave me hope that I would complete the puzzle without any silly mistakes which was which didn't happen no mistakes happened and i am glad